have on my BSI. What's your name? Uh, Colton. Colton, where are you at? I think I'm at the park, maybe. And what year is it? Uh, 2007. And what happened? I don't know. Okay, my patient has an altered level of consciousness, so I have determined that there's a need to take a glucometer reading. So I'm going to, my machine's already calibrated, I'm going to lay out the materials that I need, which is my glucometer, a test strip, cotton ball, lancet, a band-aid, and an alcohol wipe. <coughs> Colton, I'm going to test your blood sugar. Okay. So I need your finger, please. I'm going to clean off the site. Put in my test strip. Colton, you're going to feel a little stick on your finger, okay? okay. One, two, three. I'm going to place my lancet in a sharps container. And I'm going to wipe away the first drop of blood. Place that in a sharps container. I'm going to place a bandage on my patient's finger. And my glucometer is telling me that my patient has a glucose reading of 50. <clears throat> which means that I need to administer oral glucose to my patient. I'm going to put that bandage on your finger, okay, Colton? Okay. <clears throat> place that into the biohazard container also because there's blood on it. So I'm going to need to give you oral glucose, okay? It's going to take me about three minutes to give it to you, and I'm going to put it in your mouth and between your cheek and your gum, okay? Before I administer the medication, I'm going to check the six rights. I have the right patient, the right medication, the right dose, the right route, the right time, and the right documentation. <clears throat> and I'm also going to contact medical control. Medical control, this is AEMT Kirksick. I have a 26-year-old male patient who has an altered mental status and he has a glucose reading of 50. I've determined that we need to administer one tube of oral glucose. I'm requesting permission to administer that one tube of oral glucose to this patient. <clears throat> Medical control has given me permission to administer one tube of oral glucose to this patient. So, Colton, I'm going to take off your oxygen and then I'm going to give you this medication, okay? And so I'm going to open that up and I need you to open up your mouth. Let's take your oxygen off. Open your mouth and then put that in between your cheek and your gum. It's gonna take about three minutes. You can go ahead and help me squeeze that in there. And I want you to just hold it in there and just let that absorb, okay? If you really need to swallow, then go ahead and we'll just give you a little bit more. Okay. So it's gonna take about three minutes to give that to you. <clears throat> okay, after administering the medication to my patient, then I'm going to record the time and I'm going to record the route and the dose that was given to my patient. Okay, Colton, it's been about three minutes and you've taken that medication. Let's put your oxygen back on. Okay. <clears> okay, <throat> what's your name? Uh, Colton. Colton, where are you at? Uh, at my house. At your house. Okay, good. And what year is it? It's 2013. Okay, good. And can you tell me what happened? Um, I guess my blood sugar got low. Okay. All right, I'm going to transport this patient as a high priority. Is that it? Yeah.